Okay, Milo, this one's for you. This is pretty good lighting. So I just rearranged my room and this is, okay, it's nice. Okay, Pomodoro Technique. So this, the idea behind the Pomodoro Technique is to study or work for 25 minutes, or to have a block of time where you work and then have a five minute break, right? And your work is constantly split up in this fashion, right? 25 minute, five minute break. 25 minute, five minute break. It seems logical and it seems like it should work, but it doesn't really, right? This is like the conventional wisdom of study, right? Which is really crazy to me because what I know now to be my own brand of conventional wisdom is deep work, right? I think most of you are familiar with this word, but maybe you don't know what it means, right? Deep work, the whole point of it is to work for long periods of time without any breaks, without any distraction, right? Because look at this, right? If you work for 25 minutes and you take a five minute break, right? There is something called attentional residue where whatever you did in the five minute break, scrolling through Instagram, going through TikTok, whatever it is, it will be residually in your brain in that next 25 minute period of time, right? So that 25 minute period, la, 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 that 25 minute period of time will be more distracted than usual, right? You'll be thinking about that and your brain will operate at less than 50% because it's still thinking about that thing that you did five minutes ago, right? And so it doesn't really work at the optimal level. Like your brain should be operating 100% the entire time, right? So taking breaks, the whole idea of that isn't what we want to be doing. We want to get into this, this state of like flow, of like being absorbed in the work, being fully present, being deep into it, hence the term deep work. But how do we do that? So this is why Pomodoro is bullshit and you shouldn't be doing it. But here's the thing, right? I often use this technique, Pomodoro, to get into a deep work session, right? So I would set a, for example, 30 minute timer and that would count down, right? And when that counted down to, to zero, I would just keep going. It would be like a device to trick my brain into thinking, okay, this is only going to be half an hour. If I can get half an hour done, then I don't know, right? But I knew once I got that half an hour done, I'd probably be in the flow of work and I wouldn't want to stop, right? So I just keep going, right? So I just turn that off. I keep going. I wouldn't even look at a clock or anything like that. I just keep going until I got the task done. Two, three hours later, four hours later, right? I just, just go, 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 right? That's how deep work is done. That's how you can use Pomodoro in a way to trick your brain into doing deep work. That's my way to kind of talk about that. So yeah, Pomodoro, like a lot of people recommend it. A lot of people that are like, <laughs> a lot of people that I respect recommend Pomodoro which is like frightening to me because it's like literally the worst thing I could recommend to anybody. It's like the garbage that I, I recommend people not to do. 25 minutes, five minutes. I think that's all I have to say really. Yeah. If you're doing Pomodoro, 90% of your work is just trash work, garbage work. That's distracted all the time. If you're doing deep work, then you're actually getting real work done, right? And you know this. Right When you're really focused on a task, when you're really in the zone of something, even the sports, you'll be training for like an hour or two and you'll just be in the zone. You, you, it will pass by like it was, you know, oh, that was two hours? It felt like 10 minutes, right? It feels like time slows down. Time just goes in a way that just nothing else exists, right? It just works, right? I get to a point these days where I'm doing like a week's worth of work of the average person in about three hours in my day. When I wake up at like 5 a.m. and then use those hours so productively that it just, <laughs> it's amazing when you get into it. Let me just tell you that. So I think that's all I have to say. I don't want to stretch this out too long. Pomodoro, flow, deep work. Yeah, that's what I have to say. I think you asked about the amount of time uh, you want to do work at. I would say it, you count it in hours, right? So maybe at the very least, like one hour, right? People typically do two or three. That's like the average. You can do four, but that's stretching the limits 
of the average person's capability depends on what you are able to do. Don't like limit yourself to four just because I said four, but you will find that four is a pretty good number. If you can get to four, it's really good. It's really, really good. And most tasks don't last four hours anyway, right? Unless they're like a boring, laborious task. In, and on our goals in terms of like, most of us are on the entre- entrepreneurship journey, right? Of business, things like that. Most of those laborious tasks can be outsourced, right? But if it is four hours, let's say, for, for example, you want to, want to write a a really long video or you want to write a, a long online course or something like that, right? Maybe it could be four hours. It could be five hours, right? But that kind of period of time, you might want to take a break after the fourth hour, for example, right? Depending on how you're, it's, it's up to you. It's up to your energy levels and up to your mental state. See how you feel. If you, if you haven't seen sunlight in like four hours and you just shut off from the world for four hours, maybe you want to work a bit. Uh, or maybe you want to go outside and just like socialize or something like that, right? But I don't want to, this is the thing, I don't want to discourage you from like limiting yourself to four hours. You can absolutely work more than that. That's absolutely fine. But yeah, the typical recommendation I would say is around four hours max. But go beyond that if you can. If you really think that your work is is uh, effective beyond that time, then do that. Right? That's what you have to kind of look at. Take a look at your work that you've done across the session and think, okay, am I squeezing out more by working more or am I kind of working on the dregs of my mental state because I'm really tired and I don't want to do any work anymore. Ask yourself that question and work more if you'd like to, if you feel like it's the best choice to make. But yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, those are my thoughts on Pomodoro and deep work and the length of time that you should be working for if you want to optimize for productivity and your your best brain state in terms of flow and operating at 100 percent that's about it thank you all right take care peace